Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Blasphemous. Took a little bit of a break for a week from uh, doing the old gaming thing, but now we are back and uh, ready to go again. So last episode, we did a little bit of clearing out of the painting storeroom area and, uh, you know, got that done. Um, <clears throat> and now we are finally ready to break on into some new territory. So we've got about 71% completion already. Uh, it's been a while. i got to recap a little bit myself. There's also... There's still one other thing I want to try now that I know that I have that ability to cut myself. This thing that was bugging me back in the combat. But I'm all the way over here, so I can worry about that later. For now, we're just going to keep going. Ow. Yeah, I should finish off, like, this corridor and all that before moving on up, like the Jeffersons. That is what we call an old person joke. Gracious lady, a visitor. Oh, please forgive me, penitent one. You stand in the presence of Socorro, our pious lady of the perpetual agony. Mm. Isn't she majestic? She's a miracle in herself, unceasing, eternal. And obviously very hungry. She suffers for all of us. Day by day, with no rest, with no end. She is our living miracle, a true example of holiness. But not the miracle. She suffers for she is our living. Okay. Tear has rolled off her cheek. Could it be that her torment has diminished? Okay, so I give those things to her if I find Ah, poor lady. What do you give me for that? A tear has rolled off poor Come back or something? Give out your blessings. A tear has our poor. Okay. I didn't seem to get anything for that. I just gave her the thing and she did one of those dramatic single tear things. Gotcha. She's a miraculous drama queen. We need more of those in our lives, apparently. Oh boy. Getting brazen around these bracers. That's what we're doing here. Ow! God damn it. Hey! I'm just gonna go take the healing up here. No, it's there. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Left 
to right. Let's go right first. Because our ultimate destination is up. Hi! Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that. here for a second and we gonna try that again whoa oh you gotta be quick with that and there's a corpse there Stop that! Got your leg! Tit. No, oh, hi! Hey! Will you? Obviously, I am rusty. Okay, so we're just right here. Good to know. And this is a what? It that looks like a genuflecting monk. So I guess that Redanto guy is trying to get here. I wonder if I'll run into him again. Yes, I don't need to go down there because that's already had the crap explored out of it. Up there, however. <laughs> Switch relics if I can I? I think I can. Want that, want that. Don't really need that for really what I'm trying to do here. But now I can at least talk to that corpse. prayers does the great censor want? When will it tire and stop swaying? When will we be able to stand again? Lower your head, close your eyes, pray, and do not get up. Aha! I guess that is what it means to be truly genuflecting. Oh, shit! You gotta be quick on that. Probably wait till it's coming from behind you. <laughs> that might help. Go. Hmm. I need to get my shit, so. The shit! Yeah, you gotta got what you deserve. God, you guys. Okay, that's the thing. Nope. 
Oh, you have to go one by one. Okay. Sons of bitches. Uh, we're gonna turn that bottomless pit one back on. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like it would be the best idea. Right now. Otherwise, that'll be fatal. Okay. Oh, right. And those are all on timers. How this shit works is all coming back to me now. No! Oh! oh, this is gonna suck. Ow. Forget how to do the... The magic... Oh, this is going to be... Hey! A platforming challenge. I am never one to shy away from the platforming challenge. I like that that just happened. <laughs> Don't get hit by the giant brass here. Not allow myself to be censored in the face, but I was, and it hurt. Okay. cider. Masochism prevails. <laughs> that honestly is very satisfying because <laughs> those guys are assholes. They don't mean they do shit like that. It's just like, dude, man, stop. Hang on. Told you. So deserving of that. Alright. Come on. Swing back. There we go. Oh, Jesus! That, that freaks me out every time, man. What the... Wait a minute. Oh, hell. Y'alls are playing this game, huh? Assholes. Oh, even worse. Okay. I'm going to chalk this up to this is a tit. Well, that worked. Why are you doing? Why? Why go down? Why? 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 Gee, you! Oh God! Jesus! Christ! What the fuck! 
progress every time and that looks like that final run up is the end so you just gotta be super quick <laughs> super speed pointy hat activate Forever be in my favor because you guys are tits. All tits. All the time. You just. Hailing Cardinal Bastard. go back to the chamber of the lady of the gnashing teeth. I mean, this is just... Oh, shit! <laughs> Every time, I swear. that for a sword heart, huh? Smoking heart of innocence. Enhances the power and duration of prayers, but also increases their cost by, f of, by one fervor bar. The work and grace of the sorrowful miracle. First verse. The great dry tree into which his holiness was transformed by work and grace of miracle burned in a night of heavy storms it burned for 90 days and as it was consumed it left an enormous pile of ashes that covered the cathedral's main ambulatory tower leaving his holiness's turned throne on it on the top all those who were present and all those who arrived and tried to climb to the summit were swallowed by the ashes and the cathedral fell silent Say it before I say it again, this is really me deity that these people have. Anyway. Just that way. Alright. The left. Good adventurers always go left. Don't get hit by fucking braziers like that. I have been censored. No, I'm not sorry for that. Come here. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, another corpse. Lots of shit here.
got some symmetry hang going on in this place. What we got here? The femur of Carpow, the bounty hunter. Carpow, nicknamed the Daring, was feared bounty hunter at the service of the Oh, at the Bishopric of Custodia, Carpow had a cherished motto. Get rid of everything, and you'll find nothing to lose. You! I... Yes! 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 Just, just die where you stand. Thank you. It's very helpful. Okay. Mr. Drew, you've got me witnessing the exhumation of... Hang on. You've got me witnessing the exhumation of the Archbishop. I have witnessed how they cleansed his bones in wine and then dress him in silk and gold. I... Mm, God damn. That guy says a lot. Anyway, you've got me seeing what this guy has to say. Dress him in silk and gold. I saw them place the most beautiful jewels on his face and kiss his forehead. I watched as they placed rings on his fingers and kissed his hands. They lifted him, called his name, and swayed him to make it look like he was walking again. God, these guys are all fucked. This is such a weird religious place, cult, thing. Ah, yes, it's very sus that you're not playing among us. Did they jettison you? the vents okay so this actually is not going where I thought it was gonna go which was link up here unless it is and I'm just prematurely judging by the layout of the room that's probably what's happening hmm. ah boo Shitty servers. Oh. We, we have a thing. What a... Hi! Whoa! Oh, we are this, the exhumed arch... Oh my god! Gee. Don't you get all handsy with me, person I'm not doing any damage to, it seems. Ow! Oh, I see how this works. Take out the arm. And ow! Oh God, Jesus! And then you. Oh my! Trick his AI like this? Okay, let's do it. Your scripting is weak!
Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, it is a really creepy boss. Now, what is the... Nah, and I flipped it over to that. Okay. So then, yeah, let's do that again. Because that looked like fun. Hey! Design though. Requiem Eternum. Okay, so uh, what was he guarding? guys. And he had the deformed mask of Orestes. And what the heck? I, what? Ooh, uh, okay. Um, sure. Okay. One guarding another boss who was guarding an artifact found in the hands of a dead archdeacon in a dreamed world. Confession of Orestes. My forces are decreasing. I fear that the sacred mission that your most illustrious has entrusted to me is beyond our abilities. The others are mistaken. If the answer were so easily found, I would not have ventured into this place, crossing the boundaries of the flesh. My time, limited as it already was, has not even been enough to unravel the unfathomable mysteries of this dream kingdom. This land that my ignorance and pride have turned into my grave. I find consolation in knowing that the mask will remain with me, thus ending on eluding ungodly hands in the same way that the answers I sought have managed to elude my useless scrutiny. That does not tell me what it does, but okay. Ah! Yeah. Yes. Good. We'll continue going up to the, through the middle, though. Yeah, that's that's two super creepy bosses back to back. Like the the baby with the scorpion wicker basket attached to it thing from the last episode, second last episode. And uh, now that that weird artificial Arcadis, whatever his name was, something like that. Anyway, churches. We are continuing to explore. Oh, well then, this was worth coming back for. The virtue of the mea culpa hath ascended. Hmm. So, longer range, better trajectory for the projectiles. Oh, turning it into a boomerang. 
cool. Or the Holy Wrath. Optimizes the way Mago consecrates its power by using sharp points instead of blade. So, faster charge attack for 8,000. I can just get both. And that one I like more. So I'll go for that first in case I was wrong. And I wasn't wrong. Cool. So it's level 5. So there's just two of these things left to find, it looks like. Cool. Wait, did I ever give the, the Quicksilver back to uh, Dude? No. Okay. Well then. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, so this is still the quickest way to get to there. And that'll probably lead me up and around back down that way. Still that thing though, that pisses me off. There's a couple of things. We'll find them. I think I know what to do, actually, because, like... Yeah, because that's just... That takes guilt to do. Ah, yeah. Interesting. Nope, nope, none of that. Give me that. Burn. I can't get up there. I'll see if I can go further there. But if I go all the way over here, I need the relic that allows me to bypass the fog. And not get killed. by this soundtrack. All of its awesomeness. Mm, okay, I can't go up further there, but something tells me I can come back down because those chains look slightly elevatorish to me. Goodbye. Moving on. All right, yeah, that's the... Mask of Orestes. The embossed mask of Crescente.
Okay. I'm going to go explore that fog thing first, then. So that's a thing. Okay. Oh, hi! No longer a mini boss here. There's just a dude who wants to knock me back in here. Dick. Give me that. Making me smear blood on my face. None of that. None. You hear me? None. Just because I know there's an easy save point here, and I'm lazy in case I die. I can just keep doing that to fools. Yep, there it is. Badoom. Stop that! We are just gonna play this game each and every time I see you. And each and every time I see you, I'm gonna burn you with your fucking incense holder. Because you deserve it. Get hit. Hi! This is for you. Special delivery. Seriously. No one asked you. Alright. Relics. see any corpses here. Yet. Well, it was smart of me to keep that on. Oh! More health. Take Please the and thank you. Of my deep pains. Worth it! Oh, I see. I see. I should have just done that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, it is getting a bit late. I'm going to see if I can find a next boss, though. Because we are in a whole new area. And apparently we can go up. Also... don't need that anymore. I will go with the toxic corpses thing until I feel like I need to be able to survive falls down bottomless pits. Oh, hi! Who are you? Oh, and of course, thank you everyone for joining us. If you haven't already, leave a like for Rooftop Battle Hype. With An Orlando, or what wants to be An Orlando, in the background. Ah! I 
see. Ah, okay, okay. We got it. Even more. <laughs> yeah, no, me and the uh, me and the boy were up pretty late last night too, till about like I think 5:30. So I'm probably gonna be calling it a little, a little bit myself, but. Just pretty much got to this new area. Opened up more of it. If we can put a, two boss fights in one episode, I will be happy. Saw that coming. Hi! Oh! You lucked out for just a second. Just a second. Then you got burned by your own incense and stomped in the face. That must smell sagely, especially if there's sage in there. Drop me down. Okay. Now it all makes sense. And probably when I get the final map, it'll take me up to a third level and... Who knows? Hidden boss? Last boss? Like, they really haven't given me any information about, like... Who goes map? Whoa! Ho -ho, I see! Hi! You guys again, huh? Playing like two. There we go. Refuge. 
sign of protection that protected its bearer from all harm. The pious lady of perpetual agony locked herself in the great cathedral. In the great cathedral, its walls a lightweight barrier compared to the constant pain that clouded her mind. So, yeah, I can go and give a second one of those things to her, see if she actually gives me something. Hearing the distant cries of that damned day and night turned Sokoro, Sokoro into such a compassionate person that she devoted all her time to praying for those punished. So much did she pray for them to be freed from their pain and suffering that she dared ask the miracle that the physical pain they were suffering be passed on to her. That would explain why she is tied up and constantly gnashing, I guess. Oh! Hi, guys! My time could be better. So we continue this way and we got... Bullshit. Bullshit! Such fucking bullshit. That's what this is. That was bullshit. But I'll take this. The Lumated Kaya the Butcher. His nickname, the Butcher, was owed not to his occupation, but to his vicious combat skills as a soldier. There. Not even corruption seemed to alter his disturbed personality. Uh, we'll just go this way. Ow! Son of a bitch! You know what? Hmm. <clears throat> Stop the tongue thing for a second. Let's not get Mega Man spiked. up whatever else is up there. This place goes up super high. Hi! Fools. Hi! They, they don't seem to ever want to learn. Not that I have a problem with this. I don't. You... Titty-sucking bastards. Not that there's a problem with titty-sucking. Unless it's not consensual, then it's great. Okay. Can 
continuing on. Let's kill these Bayonetta rejects. Angels, you are not. I do not have guns on my heels. Or in my hands. I have a sword. There's a metal tree erected as guardian of this bridge. That tree is... That tree with its eroded bark is the symbol of His Holiness's final communion with the miracle. Facing this eternal dusk, I will wait until I depart towards the other side of the tree. Oh, cool! And you can, like, see the bridge that I came in on and all that in the background. That's kind of neat. Whoa, what the hell? Why is the first boss coming double and shadowy? They did not need to do that. Aha. Uh -huh. down then cages barrels and locked doors you need the key of secular to open this door hi bye key of the scribe Worse than pain and worse than cold is the squeaking, the incessant squeaking of that damned floor of rusty mechanisms. Why would anyone want to use it so much? Probably to try and figure out the puzzle to get that item. the key of the secular. Small, simple key. The initiates visited only the minor prisoners, bringing them food on the rare occasions when the inmate's life had to be preserved. 
He took a large stone that rested nearby and struck his leg with it until his bones broke, thus escaping from the chain that held him prisoner. Crawling, he left the place, but the sand under his feet, according to what he told us, absorbed the trail of blood left he left behind, and so his captors could not tell which path he had taken. Since then, every night, he prays tearfully next to a pile of sand keeps beside his bed. Superstitious? Okay. Also, breaking secular. Hi! Bye! Before I go to the other side, this is a neat little area, actually. Back this way. Oh, I had the key of the Inquisitor. Hi! Bye! Stupid. Ulna of Kake? What? Ulna of Kok the, tr the Troubadour. The Inquisitors despised music because it induced euphoria. Kake thought it w appropriate to dedicate a Tuned satire to these presbyters in public. His execution preceded the complete ban of music. Dicks! Such dicks! Why, why would you? Why would you ban the music? You just—it's no, no. You don't do that. All right, well, let's see what's on the other side at the bottom. Start at the bottom, work our way to the middle. Hey, stop that. <clears throat> okay. Ah, okay, chest in the middle. So we'll do that first. the question de jour. More health. That was useful. Let's go out the top first. Well, actually, no, I. Uh, Already at the bottom, and it, it's, it's kind of a hidden thing to, to get here because it was behind an illusory wall. So. Uh huh.
a lot going on in this place. A lot bigger than I was giving credit for. Beat Key Describe. Approaching between the bars, I saw it. I saw fire burst through his chest and scorch him. I saw fire burn again from thin air and fuse with his skin. He walks with fire, and fire walks with him. Metal. Okay. Ah, okay, and that just leads us back here. Seven more of those things to go. You really didn't have to come out. tried. I think this is the... Yeah. This is key. The Phalanx of Zeth, the prisoner. Zeth Korska was sentenced to life in absolute solitary confinement. He was constantly muttering something about the voices in his head. Was it maybe one of them that pushed him to suicide? Maybe. I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know for sure myself. Uh, oi. Oi, vey, okay. Right, we gotta we gotta move the elevator back with the down, and uh, then get it back going with the ups. Stop that! We need to find this key of scribe. So we'll be coming back here later, obviously. Well, two places left to go. I think I'm going to make way to the next save point. And I'm going to end the stream there because it is getting kind of late. I am a little bit tired. And I've got stuff to do before work in the morning. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yell all you want. You cockamamie bastards. I thought so. Bastard. 
phalanx of William the Skeptic. William Graff devoted his life to exposing charlatans and deceitful evangelists. He even questioned the sanctity of certain members of the custodian of the church. His heresy was not forgiven. No, I mean, I bet it wouldn't be. There we are. Stop that! Fooligans. I think it was what, two? Like, I think it, I need 21,000. What did I just say? 21,000 roughly to give to uh, the guy who will make my bile vessel stronger at the sacrifice of one. And then I also have, um, I can also grow it, so basically I'll just end up with the same amount that I have now, but a little more powerful. Well, I'm able to do that upgrade. Alright, so what's behind door number three? Ow. Mate Vuplich. The copyist. Taking advantage of a pontifical hull, Vuklich was caught stealing a forbidden book about arcane knowledge. His hands did not write again after that day. I have so many bones. I can give to the sepulchre. You! Okay. So that was lucrative. I can actually just go back and fully explore everything in here now. Because I have all the keys. Six more to go. Can you stop. Just want to open all the doors. That's what I do. Scribe doors in this area. <laughs> Look, if, you, if you're gonna do that every time, I'm just gonna kill you every time. It's getting old for both of us, I think, at this point. Interesting. I like that combo finisher. The Temporal of Joel the Thief. Joel always stole to help others. One day he risked too much and was caught stealing the Pontiff's bejeweled stole. No one in Custodia has ever endured greater torture. The 
able to listen to the pontiff sing? <laughs> Don't think I didn't see you. That, that would be false. Okay. So now I'm actually able to do the stuff in here, too. I've got so many body parts to return to the Sepulchre as well, which is kind of nice. That'll take me to the other side. Inquisitor door. Take me down. All right, we're gonna check what's on the other side of that because I'm just curious. Three of thirty eight mechanism requires the key to operate. Interesting stuff. Okay. Well, this actually is probably a good place to call it because we've been playing for uh, quite a while now. It's been a little over an hour. And uh, like I said, got some stuff that I want to do before work tomorrow. But we will be coming back tomorrow with more Blasphemous. Uh, we will probably be finishing it off. And also, thanks to a friend of mine... Um, on the internets uh, from the UK. Uh, they apparently acquired themselves a humble bundle code uh, that was for North American PSN accounts, so uh, they couldn't use it. Um, so they gave it to me. So I now have a bunch of random free games that are actually Halloween worthy to play. Um, included in that humble bundle was Alien Isolation, which I have never played before, but I am not the hugest fan of horror games in which you hide in closets for an hour. But I might check it out on stream, just because it's Halloween themed, it's alien. From everything I heard about, like, reviews and people who played it, they nailed the atmosphere of the, like, original Ridley Scott film, which, you know, I, I'm, I appreciate that, so I might check that out. Also included in that bundle, Resident Evil Code Veronica X which is a shitty, schlocky game, but nostalgia goggles. I may just play it. But one I'll definitely be playing is the 
re uh, is the HP remaster of the old GameCube Resident Evil 1 remake, which I haven't played in ages. So, you know, we got a bunch of spoopy shit coming up soon on stream. Um, probably once I finish either this or Mortal Shell, both of which are at the end. Um, but probably before, because I want to bang out a full horror game before the month of October is done. Anyway, that's it for this episode and that mild announcement. If you didn't already, and you made it this far, obviously you liked this video, so leave a like on the video, and uh, that's awesome. And if you haven't already, also subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Join me live. Listen to me gab and break the immersion. Listen to me yell during horror games. Listen to me laugh maniacally when I die at times when I become shit at video games. Or just catch the video after it's uploaded to YouTube. Anyway, y'alls, have yourselves a good night. We will see you later for more Blasphemous and some spoopy streams for a spoopy month. Don't be spoopy now. Be spooky.